Hi, this is Maria from Maria's Garden, uh, Punta Gorda, Florida. Good morning, everybody. Hope everybody's doing good. And uh, today's video is gonna be about pollinating. A start is a good, good time to pollinate right now. Why? Because uh, most of my plants are in bloom. Believe it or not, like in a week, every thing start blooming. It's like it's amazing. I was like looking everywhere and I have blooms everywhere. I'm so excited. So anyway, what we need, before I start telling you what we need, I want to make one thing clear. These rosas from seeds will produce, uh, will produce seed pots. These rosas from grafting, grafted these rosas will produce uh, seed pots. And desert roses from cuttings will produce seed pots. They all do. Uh, the only difference is desert roses from cuttings, they will never have the big stem and they will never be healthy. That's my experience. And I respect everybody's opinions. Uh, desert roses from uh, grafting, a lot of problems. My personal experience, and I will not have one. Okay. I have a couple just for testing and uh, studying them and see what they doing to be able to help other people with the plants that's what i'm doing okay let's get back to the pollinating the pollinating is you need little painting brushes just like this little painting brushes this is number three you can get in a walmart like for five dollars or something and uh, what i did with mine what i did with mine because it's so long in here okay what i did i got a little scissors and i clip a little bit to make it more sufficient because I feel better, okay? And um, everything that I'm gonna use, there's all these little four brushes, maybe more, I don't know. I'm gonna clean them. I'm gonna clean them with alcohol, like this, okay? Clean them real good and dry them. Everything has to be clean. And believe it or not, this method with a brush, that works. And I know that 100% has been listening for it. 20, 30 years, people, and works. You just gotta know what you're doing and be gentle. And this is an update. I, I have a video already about pollinated with brushes. But this is an update. The way, the right way to do it. And uh, it's it's very similar to what I have. Just a little couple of things we're gonna change. Make sure the brush is number three. So what you do, these are clean. I put them here, this is not clean. I put it here. So. Um, I like to wear gloves, okay? Oops, this one's there. They have a, a little alcohol. So you can wear gloves for better, better, uh, not, not to contaminate any. And believe it or not, it works. If you don't keep it up, and you don't be, um, you don't follow what I, what, I, what I say you're supposed to do, maybe it's not gonna work for you. But it works for me. I have a lot of seed pots. I, I, I uh, produce my own seed pots. And uh, well, look over here, this one over here, this baby, this seed pad over here is almost ready. Um, I put it here, maybe two months ago. You see how, first of all, they are green, okay? They are green. And after they are green, they're straight like this green, like straight, straight, like a ruler, green. Then when they start getting dry, they start going down outside outside down b just like this like this and you can see over here it's cracking already but this is not so i had to wait until both are cracked and they start turning red brown that's mean you need to cover them like right now i definitely need to keep it covered otherwise these little uh, seeds they have um little fussy things in the ends and they be gone I have at least 100 or 120 in this seed pot, and I have a lot of more. Anyway, let's get back to the po uh, pollination. Oh, it's hot, 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 hot. Very hot, okay. So what you do, this is your little brooch. So this is what I gotta do. You gotta wait and see if you don't have that many, that many um, desert roses. For example, you notice you wake up and you notice your plant has a new flower. That's when you have to jump and do it right there. Why? Because when they open, it's the best time to do it. 
And what you do, just grab it by the by the bottom, okay? You grab grab it over here and squeeze it a little bit, and then you introduce the little brush all the way down without hitting the little petals in there. You see those little petals in there? They're like three or four. You have to be very careful not to break, and you introduce the brush, and you go in circles, just like this, just like this. Keep it, keep you your uh, fingers in the bottom for a little support, and you just circle it in circles, in circles, in circles, and this flower is done, okay? So you move to the next one, you do the same thing, uh, you uh, squeeze it, like that, and then you go in there, and all the, try to get all the way down, gentle, very gentle, in circle, in circles, in circles, don't twist it, circles this time, okay? Circles, circle like this, and this one is done. So you move to the next one. Squeeze it, you, like you almost like you pop the bottle a little bit, squeeze it, and that, get, get between the little, you can see the pollen for here, you see that? Can you see the pollen, the green thing in there? Yes, that's the pollen, so that's why you have to get it there and then you get there and just squeeze it gentle, it's twist it, it's very, very, very extremely gentle. And then you move to the next one, okay? Over here, we don't know how long this flower been open, so uh, just, but I can see the pollen, there's a little tiny green thing there. And then you go around, you know what, I'm gonna take my glove, because my glove is not helping. So go around, gentle, gentle like this and that's done okay the next morning you wake up and do it again and again the next morning you wake up and apply the same technique with your brooch go in circles and circles and circles if the flower lasts three four days you have to keep repeating the same thing every day until the flower fell down and works okay so now if we're gonna do other plan, we're gonna use a different brooch, okay? We're not gonna use the same brooch because then that will be cross-pollinating and we don't wanna do that. Like for example, this is a grafted little baby, a grafted plant. I, I'm gonna do this because I like this. Look at this, how beautiful it is. So I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna try to get seeds from this. That way maybe one day I don't have to buy any seeds if I have all the colors. And you can see, you look inside very careful. You can see when you squeeze, the little petals move inside. The little, no, the little, little stems in there. You see them move, see? So means keep a squeeze and then through the brush, gentle, gentle, okay? Like this, okay, that's it. You see the pollen in there? I have pollen in there, in the, in the brush. So I have a lot of pollen in here. And this is wild, so, so I'm gonna use the same brooch. This is uh, this is uh, this is something you have to you, <coughs> you have to do. You can uh, <coughs> squeeze too hard, like that. Okay, now we have a beautiful red in here. Okay, beautiful double red. If I wanna cross pollinate this white one over here, this white one with this red one, that may be beautiful, no? So let's do that. So I'm gonna squeeze it, and I'm gonna introduce the brush in there. Let's see. Introduce the brush and just go in circles. Go in circles for uh, maybe three, four times, and that's all you need to collect the pollen. Now, uh, now if we're gonna do a different one, of course, I'm gonna use a different brush. There is this one. And uh, we're gonna do this pink one. Single petal, okay? So you squeeze it. Uh, can you get very, very close, Lucas? Because when I squeeze it, they're gonna see what happens when I squeeze it. You see when I squeeze it? The, the little piece move. Means it's gonna give me chance to introduce my brush in there and just twist it and twist it gentle because you don't wanna break anything inside, okay? So that's how gentle you gotta be. And after that, the, the, and the go to the next flower, and yes, repeat this, this technique every day in this plant, uh, in this plant, and until everything fell down, 
and this is what you're gonna have seeds if you want to cross pollinate you want to cross the the pink with the white and then you can use the same brush if you don't want to make a make a different colors and things like that just the best thing is to change your brush like for example look at this how beautiful it is this is a very beautiful beautiful one is it's pointy and look at this is that beautiful 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 look at this when i squeeze okay and i'm gonna show you something that you need to see over here okay i'm gonna open this that way you you know what i meant when i say get to the bottom to the bottom of the plant okay the the button excuse me the bottom of the flower you see over here over here in the bottom this is what you need you need to be right over there you see you need to be right over there very gentle and you need to be twisting there like this right there and just twist it's not twisting because it's broke but anyway that's what you're gonna have to be and just twist and twist and twist and that's how you get the pollen out and go to the next one but let me see something let me show you something over here let me put my brush down and over here i'm gonna show you something okay that way you understand what i mean when i say pollen okay this is the I break one this is the pollen in here take my glove on i just want to understand that you understand which one is the little pollen over here it's right hiding between these things over here it's green it's little oops it's hard to open that's why you squeeze and then it's open okay no 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 let's see You see the green thing in there? You see the little tiny, you see that? This is, uh, this is, I'm um, trying, trying, trying. I got it thing. Yeah, I got it. You see? Oh my goodness. This is it. Okay, this is the pollen that you need to get to it. You see this? This is the pollen. This little, this green thing over here, that's where your brush has to reach very gentle, very gentle over here into the size of the flower. And just grab some pollen from there, like just go in circles like this. I'm gonna put it down. Uh, see, like there's little circles, just like this, like this, of course. And that's how you get your pollen from there, gentle, not twisting circles. Okay, there. So, this is the flower you inside. You're just gonna go like this, like this. And that's all you have to do, and there you bring and pull it out. Okay, so this is how you pollinate desert roses. And if you have any purple, any yellow, doesn't matter where they're they're cut or so whatever they say. There, if you use this technique, you're gonna have almost 99.9 percent .9 success. Okay, it's very very sufficient. So I guess. Uh, that's about it until next time from maria's garden oh uh oh never mind i gotta say something um <coughs> so like i was saying will be green stray okay after the sipa comes out will be green stray like this and then start getting bee outside down b start becoming this color and that's when you had to uh wrap it because if you don't wrap and you will lose your seeds after that you will get this sipa when this sipa is so tall open and ready and put it to dry for a week and if it's not the time the right time to plant your seeds you clean them, you clean all the little fuzzies in the side and put them in a seed block and place them in the, in the refrigerator until you're ready to uh plant them and that will be to keep them fresh okay bye bye from maria's garden